I'm Jay and Pryor. I've been boxing just over 10 years now. Gary White, been coaching 25 years. And how long have you both worked with each other? Since like July, June, July. Yeah, June, when it was yeah. June, yeah. Training down here, yeah. <laughs> My first one on the 21st of October. If it's just as good as then or better, then I'm chuffed. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I thought he, he, it was a really good debut. Considering he's only he was about well, 19 at the time, um, he's still a baby. Obviously, he looks about 14, doesn't he? <laughs> but um, no, I thought it was a really good good debut, and a lot of people afterwards said the same. You know, it was a good performance to start off with. Um, I thought he looked really good in there, and hopefully now we're going to build on on the 10th of December from that, and then go forwards after that. The preparations changed between the two fights, or has it been the same? Then just making sure those skills are sharpened. Yeah, obviously we're back in the gym working on some stuff. I'd say it was a good debut, obviously it was, but you're always looking at things he could have done better on the night going forward. So we've got back in the gym. I think he was back in the gym after a couple of days off. And then we didn't know nothing about this. We, d we didn't have a date booked, did we? No. And um, So we was just in the gym anyway, training, working on things and ticking over like you should do anyway. And then... Um, this opportunity came about, thanks to um, Chris, for uh, giving us a slot on the show. And then we've just upped the ante in the last two, three weeks. Ready when you are, Giza. Go, nice and sensible. Don't do that. Leave your hands open. Move your feet. Go again, Jake. Good boy. Step by your right hand. Off the glove. Put your hands go. Still don't work. Bring one in there. Good. Good lad. Work with us. Trans, go to Trans, go! Here, up and down. Up stay there, stay there. Your feet! Good, good boy! Ricardo Atten, come on! And again, get your arm out and work, get your arm out and work! Get your head out and work! And again, off the gloves! Good boy. Double them up, Jay. Good, turn. Let them go, turn. come on, let them go. Well done, boys. Well done. Jolly good spa. Well Jolly good spa. Good for that. Right. Yeah. Ready? Three. Well done, that was good. That'd be that good. Nice things to work on, but that's this we'll it. We're a novice fucking pro. Yeah. We'll sort something right. out tomorrow. That'd 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 that was good. I said there's things to work on, but yeah. you're a novice pro. Yeah. And yeah. that was really good work. Well. Right. Hey guys, can we get a photo? Yeah. They'll, they'll work well together, won't they, them two? Yeah. You know what I mean? Upset. It's nice, isn't it? Next camp, it's yeah. only down the road, isn't it? Fucking travelling around all over the place looking for sparring, decent spires, you know what I mean? Good. Do you want to see what you buy now? What I'm, mate. You good? You ready? Yeah. Come on, just off you go. Just tap rude. out for 30. Tap out. No, not so bad, I know. Just tap out for 30. Just. I'm doing it at the end, when was, instead of going over the top of him, you started bringing them up here, and that's where you wanted to be. You was in there like that, but you had to change around, and you started doing that in the last round, but it took a while for you to click on. Hello, my name is David Roseby. Um, I'm the landlord of Joseph Paxton Pub. I knew Jamie from when he used to go boxing down at um, Titchfield Boxing Club with my son. His son doesn't do it anymore, he's carried on. And then that's why I want to go ahead and sponsor him and give him a hand if I could. Oh no, it's amazing! Yeah, it's half of the sport. You couldn't you couldn't do it without the the support or the the following or the backing. So yeah, it's literally half of it. Couldn't do it without it. Um, he's obviously dedicated to what he wants to do, focused. I've seen him do all his training, watching him on Facebook, not what he's been doing. I mean, and that's why, because obviously seriously, what he wants to do. And so if I could help out, like I said, I'll, I will I will do. I can see how hard he's worked, and he knows my children from from Titchfield Boxing Club who also do a really good job with the lads down there as well and 
it's all their time that they use and everything. And if you need the hand, I'm more than happy. Are there questions now? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, fight week. Weirdly enough, it feels like we've been here before. But yeah, um, yeah fight week. We're here. How are you feeling? How's it? How is it? How's this week going to go for you? And how are you feeling about everything in general? Yeah, good now. Um, the hard work's done, so we're fit, we're strong. Just coming in this week to get the weight down, sharpen up a bit, and make it all ready for the day. Yeah, I had uh, my last spa on Saturday. Um, so just over a week before the fight and then just a bit a few more work like explosive work, um, a bit of pad work, uh, just dieting, getting the weight down there. The family have been very supportive of you turning pro or even in, in the amateur game? Yeah, they've helped me massively throughout my whole career. Um, like I say, they bought me first pair of wraps, first pair of boots, took me down to the gym when I was a kid. Um, he's come to Denmark with me, all over England with me. He's come everywhere. so. It was sort of a joint decision to turn pro where we analysed my situation at the time, at the start of the year, and then it was actually my dad who contacted Gary initially about me turning pro, so they've helped me massively. My first ever walkout song, I was probably about 12, I was still DRE. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, but as a pro now, I've got a superstar by Luke Fiasco. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, I like that one, that's why I came out to my first one. I probably will come back to this one as well, keep it a running theme. If you are what you say, a superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they wanna know Oh, oh, oh Yeah If you are What you say You Jaden Pryor was set to make his second ever steps into the professional boxing world on December 10th. From the calming seas, Jaden was set to take Storm in his first ever six round fight. He was getting the last few pounds of weight off day before weigh-ins and fight day. Then disaster struck that afternoon. Ex-Team GB coach and trainer Mick Driscoll got charged and arrested on three counts of assault on a female whilst working at England Boxing. This meant a full cancellation of the card because Mick was training four of the seven home fighters. Jaden will now turn his attention to February 3rd where he fights at Hamble Leisure Centre. We spoke to Jaden about the, his upcoming fights and his disappointment of this fight cancellation. Yeah, I'm gutted with it. Um, I found out the day before on the Saturday, um, back in the afternoon, and um, it was just a bit of a shock, really, because obviously I didn't expect it. I was two minutes before I was on the scales, thinking about getting that last bit of weight off, just eating my porridge, and then I got the news, and um, I didn't really know how to react or what to do. To be honest, I didn't even eat until late that day, so it wasn't even like. That was what I was thinking about. I don't know, I was just gutted really about losing the opportunity and everything that comes with it. And mentally, how do you react to that in terms of you, you're in the zone at that point? You said like losing that last bit of weight and then ready to sort of fight and ready to go. How do you react to that for the next, next camp and then the next fight in February? Yeah, it was tough for the next 24 hours because obviously I was in the zone for it and I prepared like my body and my mind to fight the next day. So I didn't really know what to do with myself. So I just tried getting out of the house a little bit. And then um, I'll just come to the terms of it that it's the same for everyone. There's nothing I can do about it, nothing Gary can do about it. Just got to move on and get past the new year now. No, I wasn't regretting like the hard work or the dieting. I'd been put in thinking, oh, it was all for nothing. I'm glad I don't. I learned a lot about myself, my weight, my training, what I need to do next time. So yeah, I mean, it is a bit of motivation just to go and do better on the next one and to train better, to do the diet and better, everything that I learned through this camp. I didn't get the end result of a fight that I wanted, but I did learn a lot from everything that comes with it. So I'm motivated for the next one even more now. It's not really demoralising for me.